Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Protests are continuing nationwide in the aftermath of the weekend acquittal of George Zimmerman for the killing of Trayvon Martin. Hundreds of people marched in Los Angeles and San Francisco Tuesday night for the fourth straight day. In Washington, D.C., the Reverend Al Sharpton gathered with other civil rights leaders outside the Justice Department to call for rallies in a hundred cities this weekend, demanding justice for Trayvon. Let us be clear. It is now because of these laws and upheld by a jury in this trial where anyone walking, committing no crime, can be followed or approached by another civilian and they can use deadly force and say it was self-defense. That is something that is frightening and cannot be allowed to sustain itself in our society. Meanwhile, in Florida, protesters have begun a sit-in at the office of Republican Governor Rick Scott in Tallahassee. Organizers with the group Dream Defenders want Scott to call a special legislative session to repeal Florida's Stand Your Ground law. They vow to remain until their concerns are addressed. Demonstrators also rallied Tuesday at the Florida Department of Justice field office in Gainesville. Speaking Tuesday at the NAACP's annual convention in Orlando, Attorney General Eric Holder said it's time to push back against Stand Your Ground laws nationwide. By allowing and perhaps encouraging violent situations to escalate in public, such laws undermine public safety. The list of resulting tragedies is long and unfortunately has victimized too many who are innocent. It is our collective obligation. We must stand our ground to ensure that our laws reduce violence and take a hard look at laws that contribute to more violence than they prevent. The music legend Stevie Wonders announced he's boycotting Florida and all other states with Stand Your Ground laws in the aftermath of George Zimmerman's acquittal. During a performance in Canada, Stevie Wonder said he would no longer perform in Florida until Stand Your Ground is repealed. I decided today that until the Stand Your Ground law is abolished in Florida. I will never perform there again. Wherever I find that law exists, I will not perform in that state or in that part of the world. The lone juror from George Zimmerman's trial to publicly speak out since his acquittal continues to stoke controversy. On Tuesday, juror B-37, as she's known, told CNN's Anderson Cooper she thinks Trayvon Martin's killing was justified. In your heart and in your head, you are 100 percent convinced that George Zimmerman, in taking out his gun and pulling the trigger, did nothing wrong. I'm 101 percent that he was that he should have done what he did, except for the things that he did before. You mean he shouldn't have gotten out of the car, he shouldn't have um, pursued Trayvon Martin, but in the final analysis, in the final struggle... When the end came to the end... He was justified. He was justified in shooting Trayvon Martin. In a statement, four other jurors of the six-woman jury from the trial sought to distance themselves from the comments, saying the opinions of juror B-37 were her own. We'll have more on the aftermath of the George Zimmerman verdict later in the broadcast.